my decision to do respiratory medicine was a bit delayed and fairly convoluted. Um, I had no real inclination towards it when I was a medical student. I think many medical students think I've got to know what I'm going to do and I had no idea at all. I knew that I wouldn't be a good surgeon, I knew I wanted to do hospital medicine rather than general practice, so becoming a physician of some kind seemed to be uh, the way forward. Uh, it was really only in my second year when I was working on an ITU uh, for uh, a very distinguished clinical physiologist called Ron Bradley, that I began to understand how the body works really from the clinical physiology point of view and particularly how the respiratory system worked. Uh, and after that I then went off to work at the Royal Brompton Hospital on the professor unit my second SHO job. In those days we uh, specialised really rather later so my next couple of years were spent uh, doing general medicine uh, and so I did gastroenterology and cardiology and diabetes and various things. And then after that, went into the medical unit at St Thomas's because I had really decided that respiratory medicine was what I found interesting. I went to do some respiratory physiology with Professor Ian Cameron. Uh, from that, there grew my, my MD, which was fairly physiological on uh, the effects of intermittent uh, hypoxia. And uh, I then eventually, after a fairly difficult time, which was shared by everybody in those days, I think in respiratory medicine, became a senior registrar at the London Chest Hospital and then um, that was linked with being a lecturer at St Thomas's.